channel today i will show you how to make a pong game first open scratch and delete this cat we don't need a cat in this game set the background and select this xy grid then select the sprite you you can choose this ball you can reduce the size of the ball and place it in the center now go to events and take this when when flag click flicked so that your project starts when you click the flag next point interaction 45 Now go take forever from control. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make a pong game. First open scratch and delete this cat. We don't need a cat in this game. Set the background and select this xy grid then select the sprite you you can choose this ball you can reduce the size of the ball and place it in the center now go to events and take this when when flag click flicked so that your project starts when you click the flag next point interaction 45 now go take forever from control Take more ten steps from motion and change to fifteen steps. Next, if on edge ball should bounce, so select if on edge bounce. Let's check. See, it's working. Now we need a paddle. Let's go to sprite and take the paddle. Now go to events. Right arrow and select the right arrow arrow click. Then in motion move fifteen steps. Again duplicate for left arrow. And move minus fifteen steps. See now, I'm moving left arrow, so paddle is moving left. Now I'm moving right arrow, so the paddle is moving right. Now let's place it in the center. Now go to ball and click this. Go to X and Y zero zero. Now go to events and take when flag click. Then go to control and take for ever. 
then again take if then if and place it under in forever go to sensing and take this touching pattern now let's go to and go to motion and take 15 degrees and change to 180 now we need a line go to sprite and select line and place it here now go to ball and take one more if condition and place it inside forever then go to sensing and take this touching mouse point and change it to line then take stop all from control let's see how it works click on flag yeah it works perfect now we need a backdrop now let's select a backdrop go to space and select this neon tunnel and now place it in the center now we need a score go to variables and make a variable and type score if you want you can add a colon see it's visible here next take set my variable to zero and place it under when flatly change my variable to score again take change my variable to by one and place it about turn 180 degrees change my variable again to score now we can add some sound effects we need two sound effects you can select anything but i am going to select the basketball and a pop sound now go to code go to sound and take this play sound pop until done and place it on top of stop ball take one more play sound pop until done place it on down of turn 180 degrees change pop to basketball bounce The game is ready now. Let's see how it works. Yeah, it works perfect. Score is also adding up. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this main video and subscribe for more videos.